The Beach Movie Review from 2000. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on The Beach from 2000, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. Actually, I'd heard about little inklings of it from a few people. They kind of made it seem like it was okay, but most people, whenever I talk about movies, whenever I go over movies, very few people bring this up, so it kind of led me to believe that it was somewhat okay, but just not worth revisiting and things like that. However, when you go over the premise of this movie, the premise has always sounded very interesting to me. Also, Leonardo DiCaprio, DiCaprio. Yes, he was coming off the Titanic, but he was already pretty big by then. So a lot of interesting factors with this movie. On top of that, personally, I really like the beach. I really like beach movies. The basic premise of this movie, Leonardo DiCaprio, he's going to Thailand and you could tell he's just looking for adventure. He's really sick of the computer life, the technological life, the cubicle life, which is kind of funny because we've kind of gotten even more into technology since this movie. Even in 2000, people were having issues with the kind of cubicle life and the, all the computers and stuff and not just getting out and living. So this movie starts off where he's going to Thailand, he's in Thailand and he doesn't want to just do the typical touristy things. He wants a really big grand adventure. I was kind of wondering at what point I should stop telling you how the story goes because I think this movie has a lot of things you don't expect, a lot of twists and turns and I really would like to get into them but I, the farthest I will say is that he ends up having this really really weird altercation with this person, this person ends up I think he dies and he leaves the map to the beach on Leonardo DiCaprio's door the beach is kind of like this island that's hidden away from other people that's supposed to be just great it's basically everything Leonardo DiCaprio wants this kind of getaway this adventure all the stuff that he wants it kind of sounds perfect with this beach so the person kind of talks to him about the beach the person sounds insane and then Leonardo DiCaprio gets the map he gets to the island and basically at the island you have these aggressive guys with guns that are growing pots but then they also have these young adult style group on the other side of the island that they kind of just let them live there and they kind of just live off the island and that's just how it works. Leonardo DiCaprio ends up meeting up with that group the kind of normal group and just hanging out with people on the island. That's pretty much as far as I'm gonna go, but this movie has a lot of different twists and turns and it kind of mixes a lot of genres into one, which I really, really enjoy. I would say the ideal age of this movie is probably a male between like 16 to 25, but I still think this movie has enough story and enough elements to make it good beyond that. Let's jump into the pros of this movie. The pros is the scenery. There was a lot of great scenery in this movie for a kind of like island getaway movie, a kind of just being alone, just this big adventure. It has several different good scenery points, the twists and turns in the overall journey. Now this was probably the best in my opinion. What I assumed was gonna happen was somehow, some way Leonardo DiCaprio is gonna do something slightly stupid and then it's kind of like everybody's gonna turn into a savage and it's gonna be like this crazy, violent, weird ending. And it really doesn't happen that way. I just really enjoyed the overall full story of this movie because every time I expected it to do something that it didn't do, and although it wasn't the most believable ever, it did allow me to suspend my belief and almost every twist and turn I didn't expect and I appreciated it because it wasn't this crashing, burning ship that I expected it to be. There's even a point where Leonardo DiCaprio makes a really, really big mistake and I was like, that's it. These guys are gonna turn on him. I almost don't wanna watch it. It's gonna be cringy. I turned the movie off maybe I think for a couple weeks because I was like, okay, it's just it's gonna be cringy. They're just gonna turn on him, blah, blah, blah. But little did I know, nothing like that was gonna happen. If I had known this movie was gonna go the way it was gonna go, I would have kept watching. I had no idea that this movie has enough twists and turns and it doesn't just crash like a burning ship like I expected it to. So I really appreciate the whole evolution of the story and although it has a couple other issues I think that's the main point for watching it is how this adventure and story goes because I didn't really end the way I expected it to okay let's get into the mixed aspects here the mixed aspects is 
The acting, now some of the acting here was pretty good, but some of the acting was just so-so. I kind of put it in the middle. And then also the 2000s flashbacks. Now this movie has a very 2000s style vibe and I actually really, really enjoy it. Um, there was even a point on the island where he's playing like an old Game Boy. For me back in the day, I, I could imagine myself wanting to go off to this island and like wanting there to be a Game Boy. And like, that's exactly what I would have wanted back in the day. However, it is really dated. And although I really enjoy it, I would be hesitant to recommend this to somebody who couldn't appreciate that 2000s vibe because it's just going to feel really dated and old and I'm kind of mixed on the 2000s flashbacks. Let's get into the cons of this movie. The cons is that they have definitely some dated effects. Like there's one point where they're like supposed to be like spinning around in the night stars and it just looks really fake. There's a few times where they're in this exotic location and then they go underwater and you don't see anything like you don't see any ocean it essentially looks like they're in a pool i mean there was even a time where they're like they see this fish on the ground or like octopus or something and they all point at it and then it cuts to the, their picture and they're in a pool there was definitely some aged effects but like i said i really did enjoy a lot of the scenery as well so it was kind of a give and take there was some green screen moments also when they're on the island and they find like the weed plants they just look like some really trashy everyday plants and all it takes is one Google search of what weed plants look like. It just doesn't really look authentic like these guys have this whole drug operation going on. It just doesn't, I don't really buy it. And then the last con I have really is once he gets to the group on the islands, the group of more normal people, it feels just like an MTV reality show. It's hard to describe, like the whole cast of people there, they don't really seem like they've been on an island for a long time. They seem very just like a 2000s reality show. And I gotta say, right when I saw the whole Survivor or reality show kind of set, what it looked like to me, that's probably why I kind of thought the movie was gonna go so downhill. I'm like, okay, we get here. It was pretty interesting in the beginning. Now it's gonna be this weird, predictable movie that I've seen a million times, but it wasn't. Overall, guys, I would say this is a pretty good movie. If I were to give this a rating, I'd give this a 7.5 out of 10. I definitely think it's watchable. If you're somebody looking for that escape style movie, or you're not really gonna know where it goes. Um, keeping that in mind that it does have a few wasted scenes. It does have a few old tricks, but when you pluck out all that and you look at the story and where the story goes, I think that is the main point in watching it. If you were around this age in 2000, this is 100% for you because I really, really enjoyed it. And if I were to say buy, try, or pass, to be honest, guys, I would say this is a good stream or rent. For me, I would probably own this one just because it hits on so many levels. I was like the perfect age to enjoy this movie. I love like the beach and the whole vibes with it. I love the whole mystique. It's all the old nostalgia with this movie. I really get into it and I definitely think it has enough story that almost anybody can appreciate where the story turns. And have you seen this movie? Did you like this movie? I was actually pleasantly surprised and it barely tipped into a own for me personally. But again, I would recommend that you stream it. So. Anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I could not do it without any of you guys' help because you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace.